Hello, hi there Geminis, hope that you are gorgeous and well and welcome to your July horoscope 2018. I'm Bella and how I work is I work with the help of my spirit guides, so basically it means I'm psychic, I tune into the energies of um, what's going on and playing out for your love life for this month and give the general overview, overview of how you can navigate it more successfully. And if you'd like to know more about me and my services, all the links are just down below, so please do, do go and check them out. Um, so... Gemini's, because you like, you know I like to just dive right in there. My guides are saying here, particularly considering last month there were some of you that ran away <laughs> or, or took somebody and ran away with them or there was a change basically. Something felt like it ended and you went in a different direction. This, like that, something like that. What my guides are pretty much saying this month is <laughs> particularly if you left somebody and went to somebody else, that that person that you left, let's say, is obviously unhappy, but I I, I don't ever like the feeling of it. It feels um like they want revenge or they are watching still what you are doing because they plan to, I don't know, say something to you or worst case scenario feel like they may want to use it to their advantage so an example would be let's say, say you're in a marriage and then you ran away with somebody else for example that husband or wife that you left may be trying to gather information to use in divorce profits proceedings so that they have a gain from this it could also be depending on the character <laughs> that you were with and how dramatically they were you know for drama that they could decide that they might want to post things on social media just to get back at you or stalk you or like if there's something don't worry it's not scary scary it's just they just do they just they just they want they want to have some form of revenge revenge in their way to feel to feel okay so basically this reading starts you're not in somebody's good books gemini basically <laughs> somebody's really unhappy with you but it seems to really be a bit of a thorn or a pain in your side for the first basically week the first could be couple of weeks that you are experiencing this kind of annoyance or fallout from last months and your decisions and your choices uh, that only really applies, I have to say, for those of you that ran away from somebody else. Or that there was, a, do you see what I mean? Or the dynamics of it went into, um, gosh, I lost my train of thought then, in terms of your the dynamics of you leaving somebody else, basically. It just feels to me that, so if that wasn't the dynamics, then I think the other way to look at this is that if you're in an established relationship and there has been some change that didn't perhaps feel entirely good last month that there is still this element that person is still watching you to see whether it's going to happen again so it feels like it feels very very much that you guys are in trouble or being watched about how you behave or don't behave so just watch out for that don't want to make you paranoid but just watch out for that I think that some of you would have expected this based on whatever decision you made last month that annoyed somebody or got somebody else worried in a love connection. So as we go into the second week, hmm, like my guides are saying here, again, they keep saying because of this need, because you know somebody's watching you, there's an element of you putting on an act or putting on a mask which and I mean this in a good way because a bit it's a bit like if somebody has has it in for you or wants to see you fail the last thing you want to show them is you failing or upset or that their tactics to bully you or to get revenge is working the last thing you want to do is show them that and so I do get here that a lot of you are pretending that you are absolutely fine that this is not bothering you and you don't care which I think is probably right thing to do but I do get on the inside it very much is affecting you and my guides are saying here 
again this is where they talk about the law of law of attraction and vibration they're saying here you firstly have to forgive the situation whether this is your fault or the other person's fault to forgive the situation then they're saying here you must not look at the fears that you have and you must not look at the past you must look forward to the future and you must look at how this works for you and, and your advantage and how you can keep your vibration high. So they're basically saying here, self-love at this time is really important. And the only good thing about you pretending that you're okay is sometimes, you know, what's that saying when you, if you fake it, you make it, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit like being like that. Eventually you will feel like that also too. They're saying here that as you go into the third week, you start to realize that you just kind of open doors for yourself. It's particularly when you lift your vibration also too. Um, because you start to see your future in a very, very different way when it comes to romances. So if you did run away with somebody else, you start to see how the new future will pan out, that you can see, you can get excited about it instead of being held hostage to the past and the perceived mistakes that other people want to put at your doorstep, at your, at your foot. Um, I get here that you'll find a way of balancing the dynamics between what is now new for you and the dynamics in the relationships that you are with even if it's with the same person and balancing your emotions and their emotions I just get here that in the third week you start to look at things a lot more optimistic and that's why I think my guides in the second week are saying here it's important that even on the inside you feel like it's affecting you that you work really really hard to raise your vibration because it's really important for the, su the successful health of the rest of your sort of way that you view your loving relationships how you then contribute to it that's how you'll get the best out of it. If you get yourself sucked down into feeling bad about yourself or feeling like you're in trouble or taking the en negative energy that's been sent to you, then it doesn't help you long term to be happily and fulfilled when it comes to your romantic endeavours. So it's a lesson for you, basically. Um, it's funny enough, because of the... In the scenario where you upset somebody in they may start out wanting to have revenge because i think sometimes people <clears throat> when they are upset do impulsive things and then reflect on it later and think i shouldn't have done that particularly if they still want to build a bridge with you it feels by the fourth week that those who did behave in that way or decided that they were going to be a bit oppressive about this have a do completely change their the ways by the end of the month because I feel here that there is that realization that they were being impulsive too much and how is that good for any kind of future connection with you or with anybody else if they harbor that much resentment and so there is a bit more of an olive branch being held out between you and them as we go into that last week and my guides are recommending that you accept the olive branch and because gosh what's the sometimes it's keep your enemies close is the situation but also it peace brings peace and what you need to keep your vibration high is peace doesn't mean you have to go back with that person or anything like that um, and again this may not apply in that situation it could be that this is you're in an established relationship and th things just went a bit pear shape and now you're repairing it except except the apology basically that's coming to you at the end of the month for perhaps their over the top reaction to their disappointment in their perception of things of the way they felt that they were treated or not treated by you do you get me it just allows you to move on that peace offering and that acceptance means that you again can move forward with your own planning see your future much more brightly when it comes to your romantic um, endeavors and that the position it's going make plans make actions so that you have a sense of security in your romantic life so this journey this month feels very purposeful to 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 understand that even through the rockiest of emotions that by keeping your vibration in a high place you can navigate it through quickly but also that emotions are just that particularly the the, the raw ones the high ones that they are like waves they come in quite quickly but then after the storm comes down it's all calm and it recedes and this is what happens throughout the month with you and the dynamics that play out with you and another person so i really really hope that that's helped you to navigate this month to understand to be prepared for so that you can go through it quite well I've been Bella. Do subscribe. Do, do, uh, do share. Do comment. Do let me know how you navigated it. 
um, this month also because again you can help other Geminis who perhaps are in the same boat as well <laughs> My guides are saying here, whatever you should do, you should not feel shame for any of the choices that you have made. Um, lift your vibration is the most important message that um, my guides are saying today. So you all have an amazing month. Navigate it. Know that anything that you needed to come to bring to an end was absolutely necessary. And I will see you again next month. Take care. Bye.